You can easily try the reappearing coin trick for yourself. Just stick a coin in the bottom of an opaque beaker or mug and then move it so you just can't see the coin. So if we move it back slightly, you can see the coin and now you just can't see the coin. Now keep your head perfectly still and get someone else to pour some water in and magically, or as if by magic, the coin reappears. Let's pause the video there for a moment and you can notice that as well as seeing the coin here, you can see a lot more of the base of the beaker than you could in this one. And the reason that once the water has been added that you can see much more is all about refraction. But let's try and understand that a bit better. Let's change to a model with a ray box. In this model, we're looking from the side and we've got a cross section through the cup. Here, we've got a drawing representing the coin. We've got a little barrier of paper here, which is representing the side of the beaker. And I've drawn the eye over here. And here, we're sending a ray of light in using a ray box, which is just off the bottom of the screen. This is to represent the light going from the coin, potentially towards the eye. But we can see whatever angle we send that light at, none of it is managing to go into the eye. We can also represent this by drawing a ray diagram where we draw rays of light coming from the coin and we can see that none of those manage to get to the eye because they either miss or they're stopped by the side of the beaker here. Of course, all ray diagrams like this one are a massive simplification because really we would have to draw some light coming in to then be reflected from the coin and going potentially towards the eye. And normally in ray diagrams, we only draw the interesting rays, and I think this is the interesting ray, because it's the most likely one to go into the eye, but it clearly doesn't. And that's why, without the water, that we couldn't see the coin. Now let's go back to using the ray box, but let's model the water being present by putting this perspex block in the way. Now if we look, we can see that the light is refracted where it leaves the perspex block. And if we adjust the angle to get it just right, we can now see that a ray that starts from the coin gets to the edge of, in our case, the perspex block, but representing the water, then refract and goes straight into the eye. And that's why, once the water has been added, we're able to see the coin. Of course, we can go back and represent this in a ray diagram, but in the ray diagram, we're going to need to draw a line in to represent the edge of the water, and then we'll need to put in a normal where the ray leaves the water so that we can easily draw the refraction. Then we've got the ray going from the coin to the surface of the water. And then because it is leaving the water, it refracts away from the normal and goes into the eye, completing our ray diagram. Hopefully you now understand why we can see the coin once we've added water to the cup.